Let me ask you a question. What is the secret sauce behind these massive companies like Slack and Shopify? They found a niche and they catered to it like nobody else. Slack identified a gap in the market for an efficient and friendly business communication software amidst the midst of chaos of email and impersonal enterprise softwares. Shopify, on the other hand, made it possible for small retailers to have a big online presence, including a seamless e-commerce experience that was previously only available to the largest of retailers. Neither of these companies tried to be a jack of all trades. Instead, they focused on one specific problem and they solved it better than anybody else could. If you're watching this video, chances are you're looking into starting your own AI automation agency, or maybe you've already started and you're looking to refine your business strategy. Either way, you're in the right place. If you're new to the channel, my name is Tyler Germain and I founded and operate an AI automation agency called Automation Unlocked. Today, we're gonna to be talking about one of the most important aspects of founding your AI automation agency, and that is gonna be discovering a niche. Don't worry, by the end of this video, I'm gonna equip you with a free list of proven AI automation niches that will help you get started if you're having trouble choosing. We'll cover the importance of having a niche, how to identify potential niches, how to create specific offers for that niche, and I'll even offer a couple marketing tips scattered in between. And before we get started, I am offering a free 30 minute consultation call to a lucky winner who comments down below. So if that's of any interest to you, make sure you scroll down and leave a comment with what you think will be the most popular AI automation agency niche in 2023. Now, let's dive into why creating a niche for your AI automation agency is so important. As the old saying goes, when you try to cater to everyone, you end up speaking to no one. This is a super common mistake that I see a ton of brand new agency owners make. They cast a super wide net, hoping it will attract a ton of new customers, but really it just dilutes their message and their offer. In the world of AI, it is crucial to have a clear focus. When you choose a niche, you can concentrate your efforts on solving problems for a specific group of people. This focus allows you to develop experience, refine your offer, and attract the right clients. By focusing on a specific area, you will become a true expert in that space. Your knowledge will make you stand out as an authority and clients will come to trust you and your expertise. You're probably gonna be using similar software for each client, so you're gonna learn them like the back of your hand. You're also gonna create a list of SOPs for your niche. That stands for Standard Operating Procedures and these are gonna help you create effective process improvement plans for your clients in the future. Choosing to focus on a specific niche has a compounding effect. Every project, every problem solved, every successful automation is just contributing to a knowledge base for you to go learn from and then use in future automations. This is the long-term reward of niching down. You continually get better and better at providing client results, which leads to happier clients and a faster scaling agency. Once you've chosen a niche, it's like putting on a pair of glasses. Your vision becomes sharper and more focused on the specifics of that area. You're not trying to cater to everyone, and that's a good thing. Here's why. Let's say your niche was e-commerce. You are no longer just an AI automation agency. You become a specialist in AI for e-commerce. You understand the unique challenges and requirements for online retailers. This allows you to create customized, relevant solutions that truly address your clients' pain points. You're not a jack of all trades, you're a master of one. Now, imagine yourself in a crowded marketplace. There's people everywhere, vendors shouting, there's colors moving everywhere, and you can't really see what's going on. Now imagine you're trying to get someone's attention in that crowd. You could shout, hoping that somebody's gonna turn their head and listen, but chances are amidst all of the chaos and all of the yelling, nobody's gonna hear you. Now, let's change that scenario. Instead of shouting out aimlessly, you call a specific name. Suddenly, out of this bustling crowd, one head turns. You've got their attention. You've cut through the noise because your message was specifically for them. That's the power of speaking directly to an audience. And that's what having a clear niche allows you to do. When you tailor your services to a particular niche, you are calling out to a specific group that you can help them. You're not trying to attract everyone but just those that can benefit from your service. 
This simplicity allows you to attract the right clients who will truly see the value in what you are providing. They won't just see you as another vendor of AI services, they'll see you as the one that can solve their problems. Plus, these clients are more likely to be profitable in the long run. Why? Because they understand the value you bring. This understanding allows you to create a stronger connection with your clients, leading to longer lasting relationships and more trust over time. So choosing a niche is not limiting to your business. It's actually focusing your business where you can make the most impact. So let's dive right into finding the best niche for your agency. First off, I wanna say you are starting your AI automation agency at the perfect time. There's very little competition in the industry and the demand for the services is growing so fast that the current agencies can't keep up. But as I said before, when you try to speak to everyone, you end up speaking to no one. So how do you find the right niche? It's about finding a balance between your interests, your skills, and market demand. So start with what you know and love. If you're passionate about a particular industry or problem area, that's the best place for you to start. Your excitement about a topic can be infectious and it will help you sell your services to future clients. Next, I want you to consider your skills and your previous knowledge. If you have a history of working in healthcare, for example, it might be useful for you to start your agency focusing on automating tasks for hospitals or medical providers. And finally, it's important to research market demand. You wanna make sure there's actually a need for the service you're offering. So what you should do is go look at industry trends and talk to potential clients. Tell them about your potential offering and get a gauge from them if it would be valuable enough for them to invest in. If you're still struggling to find potential clients and want to validate your idea, then head down to the description below, click on the link for the Discord, and join the AI Automation Agency community where you can find like-minded entrepreneurs who are also starting their own agencies and validate your idea with them. Now I'm gonna walk through a couple specific examples of AI Automation Agency niches that you can use in your own agency. If you decide to work with e-commerce businesses, you can go beyond just automating their customer service with the chatbots. You can also help with predictive analytics. You can use AI to track customer data, pick up on trends, and track behavior to predict what products customers might be interested in purchasing in the future. Inventory management can also be improved by both AI and automation, such as when a product is getting low or out of stock, you can have AI recognize that and an automation automatically reorder more of it. AI can help in legal research as well by processing and analyzing tons of pages of documents, case law, and litigation files, which makes it way easier for lawyers to find critical information. For litigation, an AI could assist in real-time transcriptions of court proceedings and answer relevant questions in a chatbot interface. AI and automation can also help in a ton of different ways like email scheduling, billing, invoicing, and setting meetings. For real estate, AI can analyze data from a variety of different sources and match their clients with their dream home. An AI-enhanced CRM system can also help automate follow-ups and customer inquiries. AI automations can provide real-time property information as well as schedule showings with clients. But AI can also help automate content creation and distribution. For example, AI automations can create relevant, customized blog posts and social media posts on any topic you'd like. Then, a custom-trained GPT model can help you ensure that the content you're creating matches the voice of the brand you're working with. For businesses like electricians, plumbers, landscapers, AI can help them in a ton of ways. They can completely automate their customer service, their appointment scheduling, job tracking, and a lot more. A custom quote calculator could be created that gives prospective customers a quote which would reduce the time spent on manual estimation. An automated CRM system would also help manage customer relationships effectively. And these are just a few examples. The possibilities of niches here are truly endless and almost every business in the world can benefit from these services. It's all about finding your niche where you can provide valuable, relevant AI services for your clients. To help you out, I put together a comprehensive list of AI automation agency niches that you can check out for yourself. So if you're interested in that, just head down to the description and click the link there. If you're interested in learning more about starting and operating your AI automation agency, then definitely make sure you click subscribe down below and hit the bell for notifications. But that's all for this video. I'll see you guys next week.